You know, I love this moment. I love this moment in the movie when Forrest Whitaker, as your father, says, you're not walking in the spirit. Mm. You're not walking in the spirit. Well, this is what I call Hallelujah Lane. You see all the palms, how the palms? Yes. Well, sometimes in the morning when the mist is coming up and the palm is coming off of the trees, mm -hmm. it feels like, the reason I call it Hallelujah Lane is because all that. the palms seem to be raising in praise in the spirit. Come on. Come on. Don't make me shout. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. In the wow. spirit. So I feel in the spirit. And that scene where Audrey McDonald comes back as your mother, mm -hmm. It, and you're like drinking every bottle of everything in the, really, the pain, the gross pain of Aretha. That feels like one of the toughest moments and where you actually needed to be visited by the spirit. Yes. Yes, what is that? Yes, when you get to the, your lowest of the lowest of the low, Yeah. only God could pick you up from something yeah. like that, you yeah. know? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 which is to me so powerful because you have to go back to your base and her base. Yeah. Was the church. And, was the and church. God and, you know, and that's what brought her, you know, right on back up. So when you are feeling for yourself, is do you go to the church? Is that oh where you go? Oh my God, yes. Yeah. That is the base yeah. in everything that I do. I don't care where I am, what I'm doing. It's the base, it's the core. Yeah. So. Uh, There's a little bit of church in you all the time. All the time. Yeah. And that was important to me for the film, even. Uh -huh. Like, even if you, when you listen to Respect, R E S B E C, dun, 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 that's like her father signifying and preaching in church. Yeah. It's like when you're preaching, it has that same cadence to yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you listen to those undertones, it's in everything she did. Yeah. And, and it's the same for me. Yeah. I don't care what I sing. It could be a club song. They'd be like, that's spiritual. That's yeah. really it. I'm like, oh, what? I felt a little but gospel it, in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the, what is called the anointing. In, uh, in the church, you know, is, yeah. So, you know, it's so interesting that you mentioned anointing because I consider Aretha's voice mm -hmm. like a gift from God and her yes. father, Reverend C.L. Franklin was saying that. Did you, did you consider that? Oh my God, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any, but the thing is her whole life, mm -hmm. her whole life was anointed. Yeah. And her music and her life, her ministry, her voice, she was born in the church, and yeah. she was born that was a with, gift. Uh, just gifted all around. Gifted she was born to be a blessing. Yeah, and so, do you consider your voice a gift from God? Um, I've been told it is. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can say that for you know for myself, but yeah, and it said that I got my voice from my grandmother, who was the voice of our family. Yeah. And it's like an inheritance from her. How, how sweet. The, the sound 